Indian Army is all set to boost its tactical firepower with the procurement of 1300 LSV. The Ministry of Defence has signed a contract with Mahindra Defence Systems Limited MDSL worth Rs 1056 crore for an order of 1300 armoured LSV to be used by Indian Army. The MDSL is supposed to complete the order in next four years. The vehicle is developed and built in India under the Make in India initiative promoting indigenous manufacturing capabilities for the defense industry. After the successful trials in Ladakh, the Ministry of Defense has also placed an emergency order for Kalyani M4 armored vehicles earlier this year. The M4 is built in partnership with a South African defense equipment manufacturer Paramount Group. This order worth Rs. 177.95 crore. Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Today we are going to discuss in detail about the Mahindra Armed Light Specialist Vehicle or ALSV and Kalyani M4 vehicle which is going to be used very soon by our armed forces. Talking about Mahindra Armed Light Specialist Vehicle or ALSV, it is said to be used for carriage of medium machine guns, automatic grenade launchers and anti-tank guided missiles. The LSV is extremely agile with all-round protection against the small firearms. As per MDSL, the ALSV provides protected mobility from front, side and rear as per Stenag level 1 ballistics and blast for 4 crew members with battle load having ample storage space for arms and ammunition inside the crew compartment and additional 400 kg cargo load carrying capacity. It is upgradable to Stenag level 2 ballistics. ALSV comes equipped with 3.2 liters 215 horsepower and 500 nanometer torque multi fuel diesel engine with 4 or 6 speed automatic transmission. The 4x4 with front and rear differential locks, self recovery winch, and a high travel all wheel independent suspension with the central type information system. The vehicle has a 1000 kg payload capacity. It has a self-cleaning type exhaust scavenging and air filtration system meant for extreme dusty climate which makes it ideal for desert. The ALSV has a top speed of greater than 120 km per hour and can do 0 to 60 km per hour in just 12 seconds. It has 30 degree gradability with parking brakes holding capacity in full GVW and 50 km run flat system on all 5 wheels as per Finable standard. The model design of Mahindra ALSV allows for it to be equipped with surveillance configuration, in-service GPS or feature an automatic grenade launcher or medium machine guns. It also features blast mitigation floor mats. Now let's talk about Kalyani M4 Armor Defense Vehicle. The Kalyani M4 is a multi-purpose armor vehicle that would be used for transporting troops at high altitudes in harsh climatic regions such as Ladakh. The Kalani M4 is designed predominantly as an extraction and occupant protection vehicle. Its design offers high speed and quick maneuverability. It is reported to have maximum payload of 2.3 tons and can carry up to 8 people. With all the armor, M4 itself weighs around 16 tons. Its 43 degree approach and 44 degrees departure angle with a water wedding capacity of 900 mm make it ideal for tough terrain or forging rivers. Its 43 degree approach and 44 degree departure angle with a water wedding depth of 900 mm make it ideal for tough terrain or forging rivers. The Kalyani M4 uses a turbocharged 6 pot diesel motor which is rated to deliver 465 horsepower and a whooping 1627 nanometer of torque. It uses a CVT automatic transmission but it also features a low range gearbox to work with 4x4 system to help scale difficult steep inclines. The M4 maxes out at 140 km per hour and its fuel tank is large enough to help it cover a range of 800 km. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye 
and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.